to review a number of outstanding accomplishments of MSU athletes over the past year, a gentleman who has taken the student athlete support services to the next level of accomplishment and national recognition, SAS Director Jim Pignatero. Jimmy? Good evening. This year I had the opportunity to visit the Hall of Champions in Indianapolis, Indiana. Can't help but see a saying that rotates around the inside of the structure. There's a quote that reads, a champion seeks to quench the thirst for victory on the field of play and in the classroom. A champion makes sacrifices that others will not. A champion, without exception, never stops trying. I think Jim is just an amazing person and he is a person that cared so much about other people and I think his passion for people came out in everything he did. As soon as he met somebody, you know, he'd try to get their phone number or connect with them and it wasn't the last time you were going to hear from him. That was probably the most important thing to him was being a kind person, having compassion for others and forming those relationships. It's one of the reasons that I was so in love with him and you know that he was such a special person. I think he was everything that was quality about our department. Um, tough, fierce, but also caring. He wasn't someone that was for the status quo. He was always someone that wanted to improve and also improve things. But he also cared about people. And I think that, you know, when you think about just, just in general, general society, whether it's college athletics, whether it's on campus, we need more of that. And he truly represented a tough, caring person for our, our department. Jim Pignatero and I met probably 20 years ago uh, when I was an assistant at Eastern Michigan University and, and Jim came to, uh, to Eastern Michigan to run our Student Athlete Support Services program. We go way back. We've known each other for a long time, uh, had a lot of lunches together, had a lot of uh, conversations on the baseball field. Jim and I go back a long time. Jim was somebody that was really special to our program. He was someone who played college baseball so he understood the grind and he was a really great advocate for us. So everything he did was top notch. The best that it could be done, Jim was doing it that way. In my five years being here, a lot's changed with our program and a lot of that is due to Jim. One game he came down, we had lights out on our scoreboard and he went, well, why aren't the uh, lights on on the scoreboard? We tell him they are on, they just don't make the bulbs anymore. So those are burnt out. He was great and made sure that we had a scoreboard for the next season. Jim was a servant leader. He was a servant at heart. And so whatever he could do to help somebody else, whether that be get a new scoreboard, whether that be advocating for people, when their career is over in athletics, it was never about Jim getting more. He wanted to mentor those students as much as he could to develop them into men and women that would be successful and accomplished and, and feel good about the path that they chose in life. But mentoring student athletes, that was his passion. Well, the vision for every student athlete is quite simple. It's defining success the way you define success. And if you're successful and you feel like you have a good experience over four or five years at Michigan State, we know we've done our job. I remember about six years ago, I ran into him in the lobby of Jenison Fieldhouse and he told me that he was battling cancer. Obviously, we, we prayed for him an awful lot, the, the roller coaster ride that is cancer. Unfortunately, in August, uh, you know, cancer uh, got him. And, uh, you know, really, really sad day. I'll never forget that phone call, you know, unfortunately. Um, you know, I think we all lost a, a friend and a, and a brother, a guy that was very, very special to a lot of people. As soon as Jim passed, our equipment trainer Juan Marino and I talked and, and we decided we wanted to do something. We decided to put a patch on the back of our jerseys with Jim's initials on it. Another way to keep his memory alive and he was very special to our program. Certainly an advocate for our student athletes and we wanted to really just commemorate that and, and honor him. Not only to see it on one jersey, but to see it on every jersey. To know that Jim would be taking the field and that they would honor him in that way. I could only imagine what Jim would do. I think he'd probably break down in happy tears and be um, so humble about it. Just to know that he had made those connections with the players and the coach boss and that they would want to honor him in that way, he would be overwhelmed and thrilled. 
one thing that I think has been really cool to watch from an outsider's perspective is see a lot of selflessness from guys on the team this year. And that kind of embodies what Jim was about was none of it was about him. He was always about what can I do to increase or better somebody else. I did not know Jim before I got to MSU, but, but Jim was one of the people that made the experience more than I ever could have dreamed of. You know, I think about Jim every day. One of the ways that I remember him is to forge ahead and do what I think that he would do, and that's to be the biggest and the best representation of ourselves for the department, uh, so for our student athletes, for our staff and our coaches, and also continue to fight, continue to fight to make things better, continue to fight to have better relationships, continue to fight to have better resources for our student athletes. He truly cared about the student athletes, and I don't think you're gonna find anyone that was a more advocate or a bigger fighter for our student athletes and their success on and off the field. The kids and I watch the games and see all the posts and we're looking for that patch every single time, knowing how happy Jim would be to put on another uniform and to be out there. And I feel like it just says a lot about, you know, Michigan State and our Spartan family here who continues to be our family. We want to keep his memory alive with his wife, Alana, and his, his two kids, uh, Allie and Jimmy. My heart goes out to them. We were all blessed to, to be able to, to have a relationship with Jim, and uh, our lives are all different because of it. I think it's important to recognize Jim in this way, but I think it's an honor to, to do so. When I saw him with the teams he worked with, he talked to them the same way he talked to us. I don't think he treated anyone differently. I think working with student athletes and talking with them now, like, I realized how much he did for them. Seeing, like, famous players that played here reaching out to me really touched my heart, and I definitely want to continue my dad's legacy, and I see myself in the future doing the same thing he did. He just wanted to make a difference in their lives. Um, and I don't know if I ever even said thank you, but you know, to thank the at Michigan State and Coach Boss and the players for, for honoring him has meant a lot. I leave you with a, uh, a quote from Alexander Milan in his Tales of Christopher Robin. What day is it, asked Pooh? It's today, squeaked Piglet. My favorite day, said Pooh. May every day be your favorite. Good night, God bless, and go green.